a lot has been on my mind and just speaking to the holy spirit having conversations reading spending time and let's pray let's pray because i have so much to say and i think we'll have to break this video like maybe we'll be doing like a series or something but jesus i want to thank you i want to say thank you for today holy spirit we invite you here today even as we are about to spend time in your presence hearing and learning from you we remain in your presence and for those watching i ask oh god for understanding i ask that your word will be our life to them i ask holy spirit that every word that comes out today they will not just be mere words but will be you speaking to us and also to me too because i'm learning from you thank you holy spirit for in jesus name we pray Amen. Speak is the power of words, the power of our thoughts, the power of our imagination and man, <clears throat> I just realized how our words can be very powerful. But first of all, let me break this down. So I was reading the book of Genesis and I don't even know, one day just like that light bulb moment where like there's just this flash and you're like, wait what have i been doing with my life how have i been thinking what are the words that i've been saying what am i imagining i don't know for you guys but like growing up even till today i still do it but i try to call myself out like stop it i like to create scenarios in my in my head and i like to act in my head and imagine it and sometimes I would literally after acting that thing in my head i would sit down and i'm sad like nobody annoyed me i annoyed myself my thoughts my imagination my scenarios my acting in the head is what do me annoying it what is the thing that annoyed me because nobody else nobody is doing me anything it's me that is doing myself and sometimes we always pray and ask god that oh take out the enemies in my life you can be your own enemy do you know you can be your enemy in the sense that like me i'm creating scenarios in my head and it's weighing me down it didn't make sense like then it made sense because i mean i'm enjoying these things and then one day like it's as if God was just waiting, go continue my chat, today I'll call you out. And I start to understand even the words that I say to myself. Like, I didn't know that, like, I would just say it and I'll think, okay, because there are words to be said, I'll say it. I did not know the power of these things. Like, yeah. So, I was reading Genesis and then, <laughs> I was reading from the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, God this, God said, let me line that place, you see, God said, it was his thoughts, right, then he said, and when he said, an action took place, hey, he hit me, <laughs> I say, eh, God, what do you mean, and he said to me, he said, Justina, I said, and when I said, an action took place literally god said let there be light and there was light an action took place i used to tell myself like when i'm in a room where maybe i don't understand what they are saying i start telling myself well you're dumb you feel that's why i said it doesn't have to be people that that will be your problem you can be your own problem you telling yourself those things you are your problem because how can you be in a place because you didn't get something the first time then you feel you're not smart you feel you're not good enough and and we you know this okay i'm going to call this set of people out because i used to be in that set of being a perfectionist like you want everything to be perfect like ah, let it be perfect let it work and so when you do it the first time and it doesn't work you're now hard on yourself you're not telling you you're now telling yourself that you're not good enough you will never amount to anything where is that lie <laughs> where is that lie you get better at it 
by mastering it like by being consistent by disciplining yourself to say i i didn't get it right okay i i this is the mistake i made so i won't want to make the same mistake again and then i'll work work at it and i'll get better and so what if you didn't get it the first time so what if you didn't get it the second time so what if you didn't get it the third time keep pushing keep pushing until you are better and so i just i will not be telling myself so many things like oh you're not good enough you you see this that people said i'm not saying people did not say people said and so that's why when people say you have to sit down and see if these things take what you can take the ones that you do that you know in your heart you're not gonna amount to anything discard it what are you using it to do and so i start to like see myself so less like i would say a lot of hurtful things to myself and i start to see myself so less like i would i can't be in a room because i felt less i can't do certain things because i felt i wasn't good at it and i i can never amount to anything and when when the lord made me understand how our words can be very powerful not that can our words are powerful so when you say negative things to yourself to people an action must take place you will start seeing yourself that way you start acting that way and when you say positive things to yourself an action takes place and it's not happening when god was creating these things when god was saying and speaking when the actions were taking place i love where he kept saying for every creation it was good he saw that everything he created was good i posted one time on my instagram page about insecurities and like literally asking people like what are your insecurities and i said with myself i used to be very 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 insecure about my my flabby arm like people used to call me christian mother arm people would call it so many so many things and i could not wear some of the things i wanted to wear like when kids go they kill me but i go they wear long sleeve Forget about this one because the room is cold, so that's your business. These people that I'm trying so hard to please, these people that I'm trying so hard to look a certain way for, they don't care. They don't care. Do your thing. As long as your what you're doing is right with God. Because now that I've said this to some people who carry it and say, ah, Justina has said this. You know, people like to use people's words against them. Let me say. As long as you know that what you're doing is right with God because all of us we have the Holy Spirit inside of us you know when you're doing something bad you know when you're wearing something that you shouldn't be wearing you know the Holy Spirit will tell you what I'm saying this is make sure that whatever you're doing is being right like what you're doing is right with God let people talk that's that's their business let me go back because you know i said this topic is broad is wide is wider than the is wider than the earth like i start to just sit down and start retracing everything like why would i tell myself that i'm not good enough i mean why would i feel insecure about something that god said is good the lord said to me like what are you what are you insecure about and i told him i'm like lord i'm insecure about my hand the lord had to make me and he said he said justina you sew you make dresses let me let me give you an example make a dress with pearls or let's say with diamonds after making that dress you you know like you thought of that dress you thought you in your head you don't envision say this dress go go set you put on the most beautiful and most expensive pearls and and after making this dress now your dress is a living thing and your dress walks out and you see other dresses other dresses now tell do not tell you that oh you're not good ah, they use fake pearls on you they did this and my my dress comes back home and it's all sad saying i'm not even good enough like what is on my body is not worth it it's not worthy it's fake is this how do you feel and when i thought of it because diamond is not small money and i'm just like thinking about it i put diamond on this dress i made this dress with my whole sleepless nights i create you i made you fine i did not sleep 
when people were sleeping i was awake from 1 a.m to 5 a.m i was creating you i finished everything and i just to say i use fake diamond on you <laughs> i say lord i will be pissed if there's anything beyond the word pissed i will be more i like i will feel that emotion and then he said how do you think i feel when you tell yourself you're not good enough when you feel insecure about the very thing that i created did you ever ask me justina your value did you ever ask me your worth and he said imagine if that dress even when people said came back to you and said well my maker you created me you made me you imagined me what is my worth and when i tell the dress regardless of what people say out outside like my dress knows its value and it's the same thing with us how many times have the world said so many things about you how many times have you said things to yourself but have you come back to the maker your father the one who created you in his likeness and his image do you know where we tell ourselves that we are not good enough when we tell ourselves that we don't feel good when we tell ourselves that what we have is less when we tell ourselves that oh this arm this flabby arm is not good and when we tell ourselves my feet is crooked it's looking this way it's narrow is this it's an insult to god because why he created us in his likeness and in his image i really pray and hope that what i'm saying that the holy spirit like places it in your heart and gives you the understanding so that you understand the weight of what we say to ourselves of what we think about ourselves the power of these things and so when when i thought of it and he said i hope you know that when you tell yourself these things you start acting this way i was going out one day and i took like the coaster bus and i was sitting on the back seat and i don't even know what happened that day i was just in my thoughts like talking to god in my thoughts in the bus and then he said justina come out of your body i say ah uh, you want me i die for this bus if i die i will survive he said come out from your body i say lord i can't but like when i trusted the holy spirit like literally my oh god this thing i want to say i hope and i pray that you understand i was okay let me use for example this barrel right this is the spirit ah, this this barrel is the body this is the spirit so now i like came out like this and this me this my spirit looking at the body and i could the only thing i saw was my body yeah, it was it was bent like this you know when you bully somebody to the point where they've lost their esteem like they don't have any any form of pride nothing they can't like they've lost it all like they're just they're just like this they can't raise their head up with confidence knowing who they are that's what i saw i saw how i bullied myself to the point where my body was just like this my spirit was pained i was so pained like i started to weep not because of anything man no i'm not gonna cry <laughs> holy spirit you're not gonna do me like this but like i saw myself and i'm just like god what have i done god what's going on <laughs> and and it just it broke me down because i know how i don't like to see someone being bullied i know how it feels to see someone being bullied and the person cannot stand for themselves it's so sad and that's how i saw myself like who will stand for me if not me i got myself the holy spirit got me <laughs> And so he says these things to me, but I've bullied myself to the point where I am so low. I said to see everyone in that bus differently. And I said to see this guy who, I don't know, it was just a magical, like a very beautiful experience because I said to see this person in this bus, this guy, and the words that people had said to him, the things that he had thought, like the things he thought about himself as a nobody, how his body was bent in, in, in pain, in loneliness. The chickens in my house will embarrass me, but God pass it, just in case you hear it, just ignore. And so like, it was so sad for me, I'm just like, what? 
and I'm just like, Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy on me forever, think, forever thinking less about myself and for seeing you in that way. Because for everything that I thought about myself was the same way I saw God. And it was just like a life-changing moment for me. I said to tell myself, you can't do it. The job that I'm currently doing, I don't get any skill for her. I don't know anything. And when they gave me the job, I kept hearing the Holy Spirit say, take that job. I said, God, I can't now. I can't do this job. He said, you, you know. You know that scripture that says, um, I can do all things. Is it the Philippians? Lord, you help me. But it's in Philippians. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can do anything as long as you believe that you can and you set your mind to do it. You can. And I'm doing this job the first week. I'm now, as in, even my boss had to say, uh uh, you say you don't know how to do this. Shay, you are not lying to us. But it, it blew my mind that I could grow. And then the Lord said, Justina, if you see yourself the way I see you, ah. You carry yourself with so much confidence. And then I said, Lord, help me to see me the way you see me. Ah, that prayer is powerful because you will start seeing yourself in a level and you start shutting down people that speak negatively to you and say things that does not glorify God, say things that literally does not please God. When they even they are, when they are about to say it, the look you will give them, they are gonna shut up. Because at that moment, you will make them remember that that word is coming from a place in your heart of insecurity. And so you need to stop it. Holy Spirit, let's calm down. We are agreed on this thing. So, and so, when I when we went through that phase, it was like a series for me. The Holy Spirit had to now show me, okay, Justina, now let's go to the power of your thoughts. And again, I came across this scripture in um, Proverbs. Now, Proverbs 4, 23 says, Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. What you think is what you become. So if you are thinking negatively, you will become that thing. If you are thinking that, like I said, you are not good enough, you will become that thing. Like I said in the beginning, for every word, for every imagination, an action must take place. So for your words, your thoughts, your imagination, an action must take place. So let's see these things, our words as a form of worship to God, our thoughts as a form of worship to God, our imagination as a form of worship to God. So those things that i used to think of playing scenarios in my head why can't i start thinking about playing positive scenario in my head i had this dream where the lord had shown me something and in that dream i now started to think my own i started to imagine my own thing and as i was imagining it in the dream it was happening it was taking place it was forming itself and then the holy spirit called me and said i did not put that part you created that part not me and that does not glorify me so when you're recording your dream do not even put that part because i didn't ask you i didn't give you that part and so i that past i had to exit because i don't like trouble i don't want whatever you imagine in your head i'm creating those scenarios of oh i dated this boy and then he he, he cheated on me and then he will now come and drag me and say oh baby i'm sorry and i'll now go and weep and do this as i'm imagining it is happening because we are spirits these things they are now forming somewhere else and they are happening and now, now you see me sitting down and i'm sad i'm sad based on what i've created based on what i've imagined i hope you know that what you imagine is what you create <laughs> so like i'm sitting down just like the word here says your life is shaped by your thoughts <laughs> your thoughts they are creating you they are making you i hope you know so you have to be careful i want you to understand that you are a wonder like when god was creating you he saw and he thought of you and he said man you are my wonder you are you are my everything like angels cannot still understand the love that god has for man and so I want you to see yourself in that light. 
in Jeremiah 1 when God was telling Jeremiah to go. God had to remind Jeremiah of his identity. Jeremiah, before I formed you, I knew you. I like I literally thought of you and I ordained you a prophet of nations. And Jeremiah said to God, he said, God now had to tell I'm sending you to go. And Jeremiah said, Oh God, I'm just a little boy. And God said, Don't call yourself a little boy. Everything that God told Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah did not believe because I want to believe that while Jeremiah was growing up, people kept telling him or saying negative things like maybe God would even tell him something, you know, just like Joseph, where Joseph would have a dream and he would go and tell his siblings and they would just call him like, uh-uh, what do you mean? What's, what are you saying? Uh, how will you say that this this will happen to me? I will bow down. And I was imagine that the same thing happened with Jeremiah, that God would show him something, he would go and tell maybe the people around him, tell his family. And so, they start to say, uh uh, see this small boy, what do you know? Shut up, my friend. You know that thing where a child cannot even correct an elder, where you tell someone something and they'll be like, eh, what do you mean? You, you want to correct me? It's not you that I born yesterday. What do you mean? Yeah, a small boy, shut up. And so, Jeremiah grew like that, thinking that, man, I'm just a child. So, because I'm a child, I can't think this way. I can't say these things. I can't do this. And so when God had to remind him, because I still love the fact that God had to remind him of who he is. Remind him of, like, Jeremiah, I know you more than anyone. Like, I want you to understand that even when these people have said these things, me that have called you, I know you. And that's why I said, even when people say things about us, the most important thing is what does God say about you? When God was creating, He said, You are good. God did not say, Ah, I made a mistake. Let me use eraser and clean this part. Ah, no, I don't do that. God, God is just a perfect holy God. Like, He just said, you know, people are saying you're yes, small, but if people have said so many things, come to me. And God had to remind Jeremiah. Jeremiah knows, did not see that one. No. You have to really come to a place where you ask God that see every veil that is blocking me from seeing you, everything that is blocking this my ear from hearing you, remove it so that we hear your own, what you're saying and speaking about me. And so God just saw that, you know what, this child where I create, it'd be like, because I'm just trying to imagine that he and God have been having this conversation over and over and over and God just said, you know what, if I leave this my child, he will not do what I've asked him to do. So he now said, Jeremiah, don't call yourself a, a small boy. For whatever I've asked you to do, you will do. You will go there, you will do this. And then there's this part where he said, do not look at their faces. See, one thing I've learned is whatever you're doing, like I said, if you're right with God, do it. Don't look at anyone's face. People will talk. People always do these things where they feel like, oh, I know you. I I know this part of you. I, I like, I, I understand you. Like, because you've shown them a certain face or a certain you or part of you, they feel like, oh, I can say something about this person. You don't know nada <laughs> because you don't even know yourself. You don't know yourself fully. So you can't know anybody fully. To be honest, they only show you what they want you to see. And even when you see that someone is struggling with something that, man, I can't deal with, pray for the person. Like, that's why we are, we are all here and we all need each other. Pray for the person. So if Jeremiah had, like, God, God just has to tell him, don't look at their faces. <laughs> don't look at people's faces. My mom used to say this thing when we were growing up, my twin brother. I want to say that whenever we go, my mom, she just like to embarrass us. She would just go and write our names for a special number. Not that we wrote our names or we volunteered. My mom would write our names and say, eh, she would not come and whisper. Like, that day, she would not come and whisper. Maybe we were sitting there, she would not say, they will call you guys for a special number. Get ready. And I'm like, why? And then you just hear, we call on Wina and Tina to come and give their, their special number. How? You do not practice. Before we go, she would not say, make sure you don't look at their faces, look at their heads. And it was just a normal, normal, normal phrase my mother would use. But I started to understand when God said, do not look at their faces. That thing my mom said came to my head. And to my mom, she might be like, oh, I'm just saying it. But my understanding of that was, or is that, when we look at people's faces and not the head, who is the head? The head is God. When we focus on people, what people say, trying to please people, these people pleasing being, you're not careful. 
trying to focus on what people say, what people do, what, ah, am I good enough? What, this person will look at me that way. This person will think that way about me. Look at your head, your creator, the one who created you. What does he say? What does he think about you? God, what am I, what I'm doing now? Does it please you? If God says yes, man, go ahead. People will talk and let them talk. People will say things and let them say the same people that will condemn you will come back to praise you. Do your thing. And I love that God understood Jeremiah's fears, Jeremiah's weak points. And God had to use that to remind him that I'm still God. I'm still your father who knows you, who loves you, and who understands you. So I want to encourage you again that in all these things I've said, every single thing that I've said, every single thing that you think about yourself, every single thing that people have said, run to Jesus. Like, bring it at his feet. God is not afraid of our questions. God is not afraid of the things that we want to tell him or, or like, oh God, I'm going through this. He's not afraid. That's why he's our father. He's our loving father. Like, have that relationship where you spend time with him being intimate, spending time to be calm. I will do it part two because, okay, but I don't want to enter this topic, we will not finish. But really, let God be the one you hear. Let God be the one you, you listen to. And I promise you that even as it's a process, even as you're growing to be calm even when it's not easy even when people are talking and not seeing that path god is at work in you god is at work in your heart god is at work in your thoughts god is at work in the words you say if you believe that he was he has set you free he is working with you the holy spirit is always there to help us to teach us to direct us spend time with him and i really hope that today's video helped somebody today it helps me too because every day I learn from the things that God tells me and when I go back to my notes I still learn every day and they're just like new words to me that I've not heard so we've come to the end of this video and honestly my mouth is spinning me but I just want to pray for you before I go so let's pray Lord Jesus I thank you for your word today I thank you for this topic but I pray that every word that your children have heard and they are still listening to you and even as they go back to meditate and ponder on these things Holy Spirit I ask that you be there for them I ask that you direct them I ask that you show them the light of who they are in you and even when the world may seem noisy Lord I ask that you be their peace Holy Spirit because you give life and peace be with them in Jesus name we pray. Amen. I love you and until next time by the grace of God.